good morning good morning good morning hi guys <laughs> um so it's monday so here we are for prayer um i'm really excited um this is our third week of the channel so we have like one week left um i came on yesterday you guys yesterday to kind of give you guys like a update of how things were going with me and stuff so like everything's really awesome um so again our our verse for this week has been psalms 37 for really 37 4 through 5 and it's delight yourself in the lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart commit your ways to him trust him and he'll act and basically we've been focusing on basically delighting in the lord so what does that look like um really spending time with god really seeking after god's heart really um getting to know god reading the word god finding joy letting our joy come from god and no other source basically that's what our week has been looking like so it's monday we have a couple more days on this verse and then we'll do um the next verse we actually have at least two more verses may is a weird month this year so i think it's like five um wednesdays so actually we have two more verses but yeah and then that'll be the whole challenge um if this is your first time hearing anything about any of this um, you can check out my previous post, but um, basically Mark 11 and 24 basically says that if you ask for a thing, if you believe in faith, that God will um, grant it to you. And so that's what we've been doing the entire month of May. And um, we're just it's just a prayer challenge. So we're challenging ourselves to pray more, pray every day, pray a couple times in a day, just depending on where you are, you know, as far as prayer. Um, and we're... Um, increasing our faith or establishing our faith and we are um, basically asking for god for different things the things our, our hearts desire we're asking god for things and we're believing in faith that he can do it and so we started out small you know like just really small based off of where your faith is or you know what you could you know honestly say that you believe god to do and then ever since we've just been growing our faith so asking for you know, things that kind of caused us to, you know, well, maybe at one point we we'll have not been able to back by our, our faith by it. We are increasing um, our capacity, increasing our faith. And so we're believing God for more. So the whole purpose of this challenge is just to increase our faith, to increase um, what we believe, to give us a good foundation to believe for more. And so, yeah, so 6 a.m., I typically pray every morning, not on here, but every morning. Typically, I try to pray at 6 a.m. Um, for the challenge on Mondays, I pray every morning at 6 a.m. Um, it's not a super, like, warfare, super deep, nothing like that. It's just my regular prayer time where I would probably normally pray for. I mean, it's kind of around this, that week's scripture, but how I would normally put, pray in my regular, you know, everyday prayers. So I'm just inviting you guys in. To basically pray with me, you know, um, you don't just have to sit there and listen to me. You can pray wherever you feel like praying, right honestly. But yeah, this is just like my regular prayer time. So yeah. So Father God, fresh and foremost, just want to say thank you, God. Thank you for our yesterday. Thank you for our today. And thank you for our tomorrow, God. But I just thank you for um, allowing us to grow in this season, God. Allowing us to um, have this opportunity to come together and pray and to believe for the things that we um, say that we want, God, or believe for the things we say that that we ask for, God. I just thank you, God, for just how faithful you are, God, to have you been faithfully just coming through for everything we've asked for, God, that you've been so faithful, God, and for the things that didn't come to pass, you've given us, you know, you're giving us that guidance, you're giving us wisdom, God, you're giving us understanding, you're showing us who we are, God, you're showing us where exactly our faith was, and how maybe our faith wasn't quite there yet, or if it was a better thing, if you had something better in mind for us, God. So, God, for that, I just say thank you, God. I just thank you just for your grace and your mercy, God. Mercy that's new every single day, God. Thank you for quickly forgiving us and quickly extending grace and quickly extending love, God. God, we, at, we our desire is to be like you, God. Our desire is to be able to do, extend that grace, love, mercy to others and do it quickly. Our desire is not to hold grudges, God. Our desire is to forgive and forgive quickly, God. God, our desire is, is to have your heart, God, that our hearts will mimic your heart, God, that we will see people as you see them, God. So 
As we continue with this challenge, God, one of the things we ask is just that you purify our hearts, Lord. Praying us a clean heart so we can serve you, God. And also that we can serve others, God, so we can do work for the kingdom, so we can help edify the kingdom, not tear it down, God. God, we just thank you. God, we thank you for the positions that you have placed us in, the position to help other people, the position to be able to pray for others, God. Because throughout this challenge, God, we don't want to be selfish or self-centered where we're only praying for our needs, our our wants, our desires, but that we pray for others, that we intercede for others on others' behalf as well, God. God, we just thank you, God, just for the opportunity just to be able to be that person to intercede for someone else, Lord. God, we just thank you. We thank you just for your faithfulness, how faithful you are, God. God, we just thank you. God, you're just so awesome. Like, you literally just been blowing my mind every single day, like, every single, after every single prayer, God. And you're so creative on how you go about doing it at times. Like, it's been really awesome. And I just want to say thank you, God. God, I ask that you um forgive us of our sins, God. God, before we ask or petition or request anything else, God, we want to make sure our, that we're in right standing with you, God. And we want to make sure that we don't have any unforgiveness in ourselves, God. So, God, help us forgive others as well as you forgive us, God. God, forgive us for the times that we maybe have turned you out, God. The times that we've ignored your voice, God. Forgive us for the times that we um, ignored your commands, God, when you asked us or requested that we do a thing that we decided not to. God, forgive us, God. Forgive us for the times that we did it, but we did it after the fact, after the moment, after the time you told us to do it, God. Because delayed obedience is still obedience, and we understand that, God. So, God, we ask for your forgiveness in that area, God. God, we just ask that um, forgive us for only wanting your hand, only what you can give us, God, and not really seeking after relationship with you, God. God, forgive us for that, Lord. God, we, our desire is to actually have that relationship with you, not just a genie in the bottle type situation where we like, okay, God is my father, and God is Lord, God is um everything and so that we can go forth and say and not just god just gives me things god so god we just ask that you help us create or develop the, that relationship with you god now work on our hearts work on our desires work on our soul lord that's where our desires are coming from god work on our soul that's where that disobedient lies god because that's where our will is what we decide to do our willpower god so just ask that you Work on that. Transform it, Lord. God, give us the desire to spend more time with you, God. Give us that desire to pray more. Give us the desire to, to read more, God. Give us the desire just to be in worship with you, Lord, God. Give us that desire to want to, like, um, no matter what time it is, God, if you call for us, that we'll stop and we'll listen, God. Even if it's waking us up at, you know, like, 4 in the morning, something like that, God, give us the desires where we're not dreading it, but we're looking forward to it, where we're excited. God, give us that excitement, Lord. And a lot of times people say, give me the, that passion I had when I first saved, but maybe sometimes some of us might not remember, honestly, or might not have had that much of a passion, to be honest. So, Lord, I just pray that you give us a passion for you, for your will, and for your way, and for your timing, God, because your will, your way, and your timing is perfect, God. So we just want to make sure that we're in line with that, God. God, give us that desire to develop a relationship with you. Let that be our first priority, to know who you are, to understand how you operate, to understand, like, to just know how you operate, to know how you do things, to know, like, what you like and what you don't like, God. And through, we can only do that with with actually, is this, that's something we can't honestly do just by having sense, just by just walking. Like something we can just fall into, but we have to be intentional about it, God. So give us the desire to be intentional, to be intentional with trying to learn more about you and spend time with you, God. God, it's the any point in our days where we're wasting time or we're just idly scrolling, scrolling on social media, God, just ask that you, you know, convict our hearts, God, because that could be time we could be used to spend with you. I know a lot of times we have excuses like, oh, I'm so busy, oh, I can't do this. Or by the time we do make time for you, it's like, oh, I'm so tired. But God, we weren't too tired to, you know, watch five YouTube videos. So God, I just pray that you like help us see where we're wasting our time, God, and how that time can be better used. You know, learning more about you, reading your word, praying, doing worship, or whatever, God. 
and I show us how we actually have way more time than we thought we had, but we're just been wasteful with it. Help us be good stewards of our time, God. Help us be the stewards of our resources, God. God, we have more research, resources today than anyone has had ever before, Lord. So there's no reason for us not to be able to reach you. There's no reason for us not to be able to have access to your word, y'all. Literally, we can pull up a Bible for free on our phones. That So there's no reason for us not to. There's no barrier for us not to be able to reach you, God. So God, I just pray that you help us keep that in perspective, that you're always reachable because you're always near. And that we just have to stop what we're doing and stop being so focused on the world and make sure we're focused on you, God. God, we want you, you to be the source of our joy. We don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to delight in the things of the world, Lord, but we want to delight in the things of you, God. Because your word says if we delight in the Lord, you give us the desires of our heart. So that means that you, you need to be our source, the source of our joy, the source of our delight, the source of, our, of everything, God. So we just pray right now, God, that if there's anything that's keeping us from being able to find joy in you, God, that you take it away, Lord. God, I come against the spirit of comparison, Comparison is the joy killer. If we're always constantly worried about what the next person has or what the next person wants, we won't be able to be content with what you've given us. We won't be able to be focused on the path that you set before us, God. So, God, I just pray right. I just come against the spirit of comparison. We're no longer comparing who we are and what our purpose is and where we are in life with other people, and we're not also not comparing it with what the world says that we're supposed to be at by this point. That by, oh, this age, you're supposed to be married. And at this age, you're supposed to have kids. And at this age, you're supposed to have that degree or this job or whatever. God, that, that's the world standard. So God, help us to break from that. It's been so ingrained into us, into my generation, that, oh, you have to be in your 20s hustling, 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 hustling. But God, what if that's not your will for us? What if your will is something different? God, help us see. Help us go after and have the desire to go after your will. Because even though it may not look like what the world is doing, it won't look like the world standing. It'll look like maybe we're behind or we're not even, you know, even in the race at that point, God, but that your will is what's perfect and what's will come. And once it comes to pass, it'll be better than anything the world could have ever offered us. So, God, help us not to be swayed by the flashiness of the world, but rather to find our delight and our joy in you, God. God, I ask that you just continue to set our path straight, Lord. I ask that you continue to just guide us, lead us and guide us, Lord, and we stray away from your path, we stray away from your will that you bring us back, God, and we know you will because you're faithful. You lead the 99, go after the one, God, and for that, we just say thank you, God, for the time that you went after us, and the times that you come, time and time again, that you go after us, God, we just say thank you, because you, you do it because out of love. Anyone else would do it out of some ulterior motive, but God, you do it because you love us, God. So God, thank you for your love. Thank you for loving us, God. God, we, I just pray that you let your directions be clear and like that we can hear you clearly, God, that we don't second guess who's speaking to us and whose voice it is that we hear, God, that your word says my sheep know, know my voice and that I'm a stranger they won't follow. Um, God, so I just pray that we learn your voice throughout this challenge, throughout um, this this month, God, that we learn your voice, that we learn what what your voice sounds like and how you communicate with us, that we know that it's different for every person. And with some people, you might do one thing, but for others, you might do something else, God. So help us know, and for, without a doubt, how you communicate with us, God. Help us be sensitive to it. Help us be sensitive to the move of the Holy Spirit. If something's shifting or something's changing, help us be sensitive to it and be able to act accordingly, God. God, we just pray that you just continue to guide us, God. And we just thank you for the, the plans that you've already had for us, God. We just thank you that everything's for our good at the end of the day, that everything that you have for us is for our good and how you can turn everything for our good. So even our hardest moments, even the toughest moments, even the, our worst moments, God, that you are going to get the glory out of it, God. And so if if it's for the next person, God, we're okay with it. We're okay with going through for the next person, God, because that's how you get the glory, God. If it means helping the next person, helping to bring the next soul to Christ, God, we're, we're okay with it, God, because that's how you're going to get the glory out of it. 
So even in the hard times, through the tough times, through the trials and tribulations, the storms, Lord, our goal is and our desire is to be able to see you through it, God, to help us recognize you in those moments, God. Help us not to be so weighed down, so bogged down by life and what's going on in our personal situations that we lose sight of you, God. Help us to be so focused in that we have blinders on the side, that we're not looking to the left or to the right, to the right but that we're looking straight ahead towards you, God, that we're looking for you like the Father looked for the prodigal son, that we're out searching for you, God, that we're seeking you in everything we do, God, that you're not just first in our life, God, but you're our foundation, God, that we consult you, that we consider you in every single thing that we do and everything that we are and who we are as a person, that we are making sure that it aligns and reflects you, God, that it aligns and reflects your heart, God, because we want to be just like you, God. God, we just pray that your voice is clear. So clear that you, we can't deny it and deny that it was you, God. So clear that we can't just put it off as though that was just a thought that I had or that I decided to do. So then that way I can possibly ignore it, God. Take away every excuse, God. Take away every excuse that will keep us from listening to you and keep us from obeying, obeying you, God. God, your word says that obedience is better than sacrifice, God. So help us not make sacrifices in vain, God, but rather just be obedient to you in the moment, the first time you ask, God. Give us the heart of obedience, God. Give us an obedient heart where our whole desire is to be obedient to you, God. Because, God, we know that, like, at the end of it all, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be, we're going to be rewarded, and we're going to, like, whatever it's for, it's like something great is going to come from it, God. But I also understand the size of it where sometimes it's a little bit scary. So, God, help us not to be afraid. Take away the fear, God. And your word says that you're not giving us the spirit of fear, but power of love and the sound mind, God. So we come against the spirit of fear right now. We are rooted at the roots, God. And we just plant power, we plant love, and we plant, plant power, we plant love, and we plant a sound mind, God. Or self discipline in some versions, God. Where we aren't swayed by our emotions, Lord, but we stand on the solid foundation of who you are, God. God, we just thank you, God, that we're going to find that we are going to find our joy in you, Lord. And not from this world, not from the money, not from my friends, not from my family, not from my job, not from my, you know, worldly ambitions or anything like that. But our source of our joy is truly you. And that we seek you and consult you in everything we do, God. God, we just want to commit our ways to you, God. We want to commit to your plan, your way, God. We want to commit to your timing, God. God, I just thank you for this moment where we've been able to reflect on our, literally our relationship with you. Does it line up? Is it where it's supposed to be, God? And we're not in right standing, God. If you want more from us, God, let us know, God. We'll give you more, God, because you deserve it, God. Honestly, God, you deserve everything we are and everything we have, Lord. So, God, we are willing to give it to you, Lord. We're willing to make those sacrifices. We're willing to get up earlier, stay up late, God, wherever it is, so we can grow close, closer to you, God. Because I know in this season you're calling us to go deeper, to go deeper than we've ever been, God. That doesn't come just by having sense. That doesn't come by coincidence. It comes from being intentional and making sure that we are going forth in what you've called us to do, that we're being obedient to your calling, God. And that we're actually being diligent and studying and intentional and studying your word, God, and understanding who you are. So, God, we just pray right now that we don't get afraid, that we don't let the world sway our, our position on you, on you and who you are, God, and that we, I just declare right now in this moment that we are supercharged, that we are supercharged to go after you, God, that we are supercharged to seek you, God, that we will study like we've never studied before, that we'll pray like we've never prayed before, that we'll spend more time actually consulting you, actually, actually seeking you, God, that you won't be an afterthought anymore, God, from this moment on. And so, God, I just thank you. And I just praise your name, God. I thank you for this moment of prayer. I thank you for this moment that you just met us, that you just dwell with us, God. God, we just want to dwell with you as our hearts desire. So, God, I just say thank you. I pray for everyone's week. I pray for everyone's day, first and foremost, that the Monday is not going to be like a, oh, I dread this day. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be better Monday than last Monday was. And last Monday was a great Monday. That was the best one we ever had. So, But the, this Monday will be even better, Lord. 
I was like, God actually you give us an opportunity to speak to someone about you. Sometime this week, I just ask that you give us that opportunity. I think that's going to be awesome for us. Because it's time for us to go out of our shells. It's time for us to stop being so um, shy about who you are and how good you've been. That everyone else in the world has unashamedly plugged in whatever it is that they're interested in, that they care about. Why should we be ashamed? Why should we be afraid? Why should we be shamed, like bashful or shy? The thing is, we shouldn't. So God actually give us that opportunity just to tell someone about you. God, thank you. I thank you for your faithfulness and your love. God, we love you. God, we truly love you. We love you for who you are. So in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Or if you're catching the replay, thank you for watching. Um, again, our, our scripture is Psalms 37, 4 through 5. So when you get a chance, check it out. Um, basically, on Wednesday, we'll be starting our next scripture for the prayer challenge. But we still have a couple of days to um, kind of focus and lean in on this scripture. So, guys, I encourage you to continue to um, meditate on this scripture Continue to seek ways that you can, you know, find your joy in God, find delight in God, um, and ask Him. Just like if you don't know, just ask Him. He'll, He'll definitely come through and let you know how you can do it. So, guys, I hope you guys have a great. I already know you guys are gonna have a great day, great week. I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye. <laughs>